Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Shop, the world's only comic book podcast. No way you come, come back for me today because I'm trying to be funny this time and not dumb like I usually am. So unfortunately, on the last night that he's going to hold on to it, on the last night, it's I'm totally not going to win. I finally get my belt back. So, you know, I'm just going to... Hmm, let's see how this is going to work out. Uh, it's not, but we're just going to do this. You're going to be an Uso about it and put it around your neck? Uh, here. You know what? Actually, hang on. Just put it on your shoulder. Oh, I was put just going to fucking out. wrap it around my head. No, just put it on your... Rest it like so on your shoulder. There. Like your Kevin Owens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or I could just go... I'm going to choke myself. Nope, we're just going to do this. Neat. <laughs> I am the champion still, and tonight I'm going to remain the champion because Anthony could go fuck himself. So, uh, any any news you want to start off with? Oh, I guess we're already just jumping into news. Yeah. All right. Well, we're not going to talk about how our weeks have been. I mean, I haven't done shit. All right. I've not really done shit either. I bought a lot of games on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I bought LA. I bought LA Noir. I bought LA Noir, and apparently, even with the cartridge, it's like 35 gigabytes of download. Yeah, I didn't see. I, I couldn't see what the actual download is, but it's apparently it's really big. Apparently, big. So you I got went, a you got a big a big SD card. Yeah, I went and bought out and bought a 128 gigabyte card. I only have a 64 gig one. You forget. Um, and then the guy at Target w who was buying it for me complained to me about the Switch and was like, "Oh, just switch over to console." And we had like a Clerks 2 esque uh, Hobbit debate. Except it was about the Switch. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and that was probably better. It was probably better than the rigmarole you would have gotten at GameStop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. GameStop would have been a total dick. Boss, so you bought, uh, you bought L.A. Noir at Target? I bought L.A. Noir at GameStop, and I thought they sold cards there, but they didn't. So, uh. thankfully. I also got Pokemon. So how come the guy was complaining to you? Why didn't he just think you were buying a micro SD card? Oh, uh, because I said, uh, I'm getting it for my Switch. And he was like, oh... Because uh, he had he had to unlock those ones from the thing, and he was clearly just I mean he was being he was he wasn't actually being a dick. He was just kind of like you're joking around, but like it was like a joking debate, but it was still very heated. Ah, yeah. Um, and I also got Pokemon, which the first half of that game was fucking like identical to the previous game. And you're probably gonna get Stardew Valley. I already got it. Oh, it's already downloaded. I I was letting it download while we were out ah. eating. We got food. Food's very important. We get food a lot. That's mostly what we do. There's mm -hmm. like three things we do. Yeah. It's like eat shit and no, breathe. No, I meant just like as like as like a unit. Like we go to the movies. Yeah. We eat food. Or we read And we books. shit. Oh. Well, I count shit. We don't shit together. Oh, we shit together all the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, let's talk about what what news there was. So just so you guys know, we're not at that part yet, but I accidentally put most of my books away already. Not yeah, even like thinking. An idiot. <laughs> yeah, so I have like some of my books um, that I just had out. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, news, 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 news. Let me pull up the news. The news booze. Um, there was like one comic book news I could think of this week, and that's uh, we got first looks at Milk Wars. Oh yeah, they they sent out like all the titles and everything and everything. and the covers. Yeah. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Um, I don't know. It's kind of neat. <laughs> Next week, we're going to have a fucking spontaneous <clears throat> fucking... Uh, there's, instead of the blowjob, he's going to downgrade it a bit to like a hand job, but it's still probably going to be pretty good. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, but... <laughs> uh, Doomsday Clock. Oh, oh, Doomsday Clock, yeah. I don't think Doomsday Clock is going to be better than the Rebirth special. I don't know. I mean, like, it's the first issue, so we can't really judge the whole thing based off of it, but... I'm my prediction right now is that since this is the new 52 version of the Watchmen universe that this is going to be a retelling of Watchmen in the new 52 canon where Superman exists. We'll see. Yeah. That's my prediction. A little out there but um so I'm a little congested too. I've been kind of sick all week. Mm -hmm. My allergies are killing you, me too. You, you idiot. Um gaming news. Oh, ho, ho! Bet you haven't heard about this one yet. Yeah, no one's been talking about this. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront has had some things. Yeah, there was a whole, there was a whole kerfuffle. <laughs> oh my god! Like every day, What's there a was like word? a new thing. Kerfuffle. Kerfuffle is a fun word. Um, uh, to catch you up to speed in in brief, uh, they put in 
they basically blocked the whole entire game behind paywalls. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Like, really ridiculous paywalls. Like, to the point where you technically could earn the stuff without paying for anything, but it would take you 40 days uh, to grind for a single character. <laughs> yeah. Which is retarded. Um, yeah, and that was a thing. And then most recently, uh, well, it, the day before release, EA took away all the uh, in-app purchases. But uh, it just came... Yeah, it just came out that it's because basically the CEO of Disney called them up and was like, fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was pretty interesting. And EA has no leverage in that debate. Nope, because it's Star Wars and it, Disney owns it. Um. So yeah, and that's actually kind of insane that something this, like, it was honestly fucking on CNN, I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah, like, the fact that it got this big is actually pretty huge. Um. So I think that's a win. It's, it's a, a win. win. Oh, it's a win. Uh, EA stock went down by like 3%. For, for like a company like EA is huge. Yeah, that's insanely huge. I mean, it's not going to destroy them, uh, but like it shows that if they keep doing this, that their stocks are just going to keep going down. So they're probably not going to make that mistake again. Hopefully. I don't know. It is EAA. EA. <laughs> I just said EAA. Um, Ninja Turtles are in just, Injustice 2. Yeah, that was a thing. So I was sitting in the car watching that trailer and I saw Enchantress come on. I was like, oh, I don't know who this is. So I guess that's the new character and there won't be any other characters revealed in this trailer. And all of a sudden fucking Ninja Turtles come out and I was just like, ah! <laughs> and Alex Corey was in the car and he was like laughing his ass off because I was just so shocked. <laughs> uh, so that was awesome. And on that topic, so now that Injustice 2 has a Dark Horse rep, an IDW rep, and, like, a general fighting game rep, uh, who do you think they would put in for an image rep? Invincible. Invincible? I don't know who that is. Read Invincible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 the Beagle from Fix. <laughs> the Beagle? <laughs> I could see that happening. <laughs> He's like the most OP character. Yeah. <laughs> um, I talked about Poke Pokemon Ultra Moon. The early game sucks ass in it. And Ace Attorney for Switch was kind of announced. Yeah, you told me that and then didn't provide evidence. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I mean, it's... Bunk, 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 it's confirmed that they're making a, a mainline Ace Attorney game for Switch. We don't know what the title is, but it's probably just going to be Ace Attorney whatever number it'd be Ace well no because they haven't named they haven't numbered they've never numbered them yeah I, I know but you get what I mean so it's probably going to be like Ace Attorney um, I'm saying it's not fucking Apollo Justice or something Ace Attorney masturbates Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright masturbates in the corner yeah um but Apollo Justice uh, is still in all the games after Apollo Justice yeah I know even though I hate Apollo Justice the most out of the I, uh, I never played Dual Destiny which is the one that takes place after Apollo Justice and I never played uh, Spirit of the Trial or whatever, the the most recent one. Mm -hmm. uh, so I only got up to Apollo. I only got up to Apollo Justice. We it's, should play. We should play Ace Attorney again. Yeah, is Dual Destinies on? You can get it on iPhone. Can you? All right. It's I, like because it's on 3DS, so it's like it's like fifteen bucks. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the. Do you want? Do you want to jump ahead in Ace Attorney and play Ace Attorney? I would love to. We should. We might do that later. Well, well what are we gonna play? Like one of the newest games. We could probably play Dual Destiny. Uh, the one without, like, with the new, the the yellow shirt girl? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, sure. I know, I know the story. I can we haven't gotten caught up in Edgeworth. We, because we stopped, because that was a Twitch exclusive, and we don't stream, we never streamed on Twitch again. We streamed it on fucking YouTube. No, we didn't. Yeah, we do. Not the we first did. one. Edgeworth, and, yeah, we did. Fuck you. Uh, TV news, X-Files returns on January 3rd. Which yeah, is so that means we got a film. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, we got a film. And, uh, I didn't watch anything Punisher, so I don't know. I watched the first episode. Was it alright? Yeah. Alright. I thought they were gonna make a Moon Knight reference, then they didn't. Oh, that's sad. So I don't know if they later established that he might be Moon Knight, but... They, uh, they basically made the super overt Moon Knight reference, and then they didn't name him the Moon, the character from Moon Knight. Oh, really? Yeah, it was like, he uh, he drives a cab and talks to himself. And if I'm remembering correctly, Moon Knight's alias that drives a cab's name is Jake. If I'm remembering correctly. Mm. And they were like, but they named him like Eddie or something. Eddie and Jake are kind of probably names that could be altered. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if they maybe 
We'll see. I, don't spoil anything. I don't know if Moon Knight shows up in this. Yes, that would be kind of amazing if he did. Holy shit, that would be amazing. Um, so we'll do that last, but uh, Nintendo is in very close proximity to closing a deal with Illumination for a Mario movie, which I know you hate. Man, Did we ever talk one, about this? Uh, I don't think on the show. No. Um, I know you hate Illumination. Yes, I do. Yep. So I know you're not excited for that. I am whatever. Because their animation sucks really bad. Their animation, it's fucking low budget, yes, but they do a really good job with the budget. Yeah, I don't give I a want... shit if they, what budget it is, so long as they do the yeah, best job they can with the budget. Yeah, but I don't want Mario to have a plump. A plump? Yeah, that's the character that's going to be the minion equivalent in the Mario game. I've decided they... their name are plumps. So you mean Goombas? No. It's going to be the Goombas that are minions. Don't want... They will. <laughs> They're literally the same. Well, to be fair, though, Nintendo's take, like, they fucking demanded... They they wouldn't they were very strict about what their deal was so they demanded half the creative power. In oh, it. so you, oh yeah, you did tell me that. Yeah, so it's not gonna be straight up Illumination. It's gonna be Mario and Illumination, or, or Nintendo and Illumination. So that's kind of cool, I guess. You didn't watch it, but there's a new Deadpool trailer. Is really good. Yeah, yeah, it was great. And also new Incredibles two trailer that was teaser. Yeah, mm -hmm. teaser. You know, it showed like a minute of actual footage from the movie. <laughs> Maybe not, it might not even be in the movie. Oh, yeah, it actually, it probably isn't because he looks directly at the screen and be, was just like, so like I don't know if they do a fourth wall break in uh, Incredibles two. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Deadpool shows up. <laughs> yeah, Deadpool. <laughs> um, and last thing, we should do a mini review, even though we did a wear in the car for it, of Justice League. <laughs> I really liked it. You kind of liked it. Um. I mean, there was a lot of issues with it, but I could not believe it has a 30-something on Rotten Tomatoes. That's insane to me. Like, I th that's like a straight-up 75 movie to me, I'd say. Um, you know, I don't know. Especially for you, it was like, they're fun. Yes. And it was comic booky. Uh, Which is what I wanted. Aquaman was metal as fuck. Yeah, Superman acted like Superman. Yeah. Um... And they didn't fuck up any of the characters. The only thing that was annoying in it was uh, the Flash. Is that was just his humor, so they could just write his humor better. And yeah, they better. His fucking non-humorous moments were awesome, though. Yeah, like where he was talking with his dad. Like that was the best Flash live action I've seen. Um, I liked his. I liked like his joke when him and Cyborg were digging the grave. Yeah, that was amazing. Because at first I was like, "This is weird," and they're like, "This is weird, right?" And I was like, "I agree with you, you guys." guys. <laughs> so. What came out this week? What did come out this week, Anthony? What did come out this week? Well, I will tell you in like five seconds. Um, no, not IDW. No, it's been past five seconds. Oh, we're going to do Marvel first. Here we go. Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider, number 10, Champions 14, Deadpool vs. Old Man Logan, number 2, Doctor Strange, 381, Guardians of the Galaxy, 147, Hawkeye, 12, Marvel's Black Panther, Prelude, number 2, which actually flipped through. And the artwork in that is actually kind of alright. I didn't see Guardians, so it must have gotten pushed back. Oh. Not Brand Eck, number 14, which I didn't pick up. I um, did. Peter Parker, Spider Spectacular Spider-Man, number 297. Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, number 7, an Error C new series. What the fuck is that? I don't know. Uh, Secret Warriors, number eight. Spider-Man 2, number four. Star Wars Darth Vader, number eight. Star Wars Doctor Aphra, <laughs> number 11. Amazing Spider-Man, number 791. Defender 7. Incredible Hulk, 710. Mighty Thor, 701. Punisher, 218. Thor, Thor vs. Hulk, Champions of the Universe, number six. Weapon X, 11. X-Men Blue, 15. Um... Uh... My nose is so stuffy. Uh, DC side, we got Harley Quinn 32, Aquaman 30, Batman 35, Batwoman Woman number 9, Bombshells United number 6, Future Quest Presents number 4, Green Lanterns 35, Injustice 2 number 14, Justice League 33, Nightwing 33, Super Sons number 10, Superman number 35, Batman Who Laughs number 1, which I'm sure we've not not read at all, Trinity 15, Wonder Woman Conan number 3, I am just slurring all the words today, Dark Horse, uh, in things I'm actually going to talk about. Jenny Finn, number one, and Rasputin, the voice of the dragon, number one, which I love both of those, but that's a spoiler. Uh, IDW. It was fucking... 
Um, we have to figure out how to get the Rhode Island covers from IDW. I want those. That'd be cool. I think you have to, like, go to fucking Hasbro. But I don't know. Um, there was nothing important there that I cared about. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think there's anything else I'm missing. Ooh, wow. What did you pick up this week, Anthony? I got not brand Ech number 14. Ech. You didn't get the shiny cover? There was a shiny cover? Oh, no, there wasn't a shiny cover, actually. Never mind. I'm I got done. Superman 35. I got Batman 35. That book's actually really funny. Is it? Yeah, uh, the first uh, the first vignette is uh, Secret Empire Abridged. So are these just like little vin- like short stories that yeah, are little comedy comical? vignettes. Oh, that's cool. I should pick this up. Nightwing 33. There's a great one about um there's a great one about the executives uh, creating new Gwens. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's really funny. I should pick this up. This nice is self-aware. Marvel's making fun of itself. I want Marvel to do good. Marvel's cool. They're just dumb. The Batman Who Laughs, number one. The Wild Storm, number nine. Wild Storm's been really good. I actually just cut up on it. <laughs> Trinity, number 15. Um, is this still... Is this still uh, Justice League Dark, number 15? Is this the last issue of Justice League Dark? I think it's a six-issue thing. The end. This was the end of Justice League Dark. Oh, all right. That was surprisingly um, long. Batman, Batwoman, number <laughs> nine. Uh, I haven't read this yet. But, um, the cover's but awesome. Batwoman. This is a really cool cover. Spider-Man 2, number 2, by Brian Michael uh, Turncoat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's even happening with this anymore? I don't know. And uh, Defenders, number 7, by Brian Michael uh, Trader. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's not a traitor. He went to the side you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he betrayed DC. He betrayed Mar- Marvel Comics. Oh, and... Ow! <laughs> you hurt my goatee. <laughs> Hawkeye, um, Omnibus Edition. Um, I'm going to read off the digital version of what I got because it's all the same. Because um, I don't have all the books here. So I got Batman 35, Batwoman number 9, Curse Words 10, Jenny Finn number 1, Rasputin Voice of the Dragon number 1, Star Wars Darth Vader number 8, Batman Who Laughs number 1, Trinity, Trinity number 15, and then the Justice League, Bats of the Hell tie-in. I, I forget what number that is, but it, I didn't have it on my list. Um, and what I have right here, um, I didn't... I only read two of these, but, and then I read, uh, Batman Who Laughs, so I'll just use Anthony's for that. I have Curse Words, number 10, uh, Batman number 35, then I read Rasputin, Voice of the Dragon, number one, and I got both covers, because there's only one variant for every series in these, so that's kind of cool. And then I got Jenny Finn, number one, uh, which was surprisingly fucked up. (laughs) Um... Oh, God. Why am I suddenly so congested? It's dumb. So, yeah. I don't know if you want to go first. I don't give a shit. Uh, I'm going to... I didn't read all of these. Um, Batman Who Laughs was good. Not Brent... Um, there was not... I actually need to read most of these. Mm-hmm. What did you read? Uh, I only read Rasputin, uh, Jenny Finn, and Batman Who Laughs. This so. week I'm off from school and mostly off from work, so I'm just going to read everything I'm behind on. I've actually uh, got... I've been spending a lot of time this week getting caught up in shit. I basically... Right now I'm focusing on Metal Gang. I'll caught up in that. I read all of um, Secret Warrior... Or not Secret Warriors. <laughs> read all of uh, Gotham Resistance. I'm one issue behind in ba- uh, 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 Bat to the Hell. Um, so I just gotta read this week's. Basically, I just picked it up from the store. Um, I just have to read Merciless and Devastator now, and I think that's it. And I'm all caught up. And then after that, I'm gonna... I might ca- get caught up in Batman? I don't know. Green Hour, I'm definitely gonna get caught up in. Oh, shit! Do you know what we didn't mention? What? Marvel has a new editor-in-chief. Oh, what? I didn't hear about this. Seriously? No. Uh, CB... Subicup? CB Sublitsky? Can I see? Guy lucky enough to work for Marvel, travel to work for fun. Who the fuck? That's the new editor-in-chief of Marvel. Oh, shit. Who's the old one? Axel Alonso. Uh, Why did he leave? I don't know. Oh. I'm fairly certain that he was dead, and he's been being weakened at Bernie's or Bernie'd around the Marvel for like three years. (laughs) Uh, Hopefully it's just that Marvel is trying to step up their game. (laughs) 
Yeah, I could. Yeah, uh, I completely forgot to fucking mention that. The like the uh, so Bendis leaves, and then instantly Marvel gets a new editor in chief. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I like. <laughs> I think maybe Bendis left because he was just so pissed off with Marvel doing so shittily. Like, <laughs> I mean, maybe. All right, here's the tinfoil hat theory here. Maybe he. Maybe they were looking to get Alonzo out. And Bendis wanted the editor in chief position because mm-hmm. honestly, he's been there like the longest of any writer. That's a good point. Yeah, and maybe he didn't get it, and maybe he called bullshit on the whole ordeal. That that could be it, um, or it could have just been like he left, and that was Marvel being like, "Shit, we need to we before everybody we know leaves, we should probably change the editor in chief." So yeah, anyone. that's my tin, my tinfoil hat theory is maybe Bendis was up for the editor in chief position and didn't get it. Yeah. Regardless though, that's pretty cool. I hope this new guy's pretty good. Yeah. Um, he was reading uh, Untold History of Marvel, which if you use our Audible link that doesn't exist, you could get a free trial. <laughs> 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 Let's just advertise Audible, even though we have no. Sponsorship. I mean, if we show them that we could sponsor Audible, Audible will give us a sponsorship, I'm, even though it's super easy to get an Audible sponsorship. Yeah, you only need like a thousand subscribers. Yeah, it's like a thousand subscribers. And I think it's you need super have, easy. I think you need like a thousand subscribers and like a hundred views on each episode, which realistically isn't that hard. It isn't that hard if you're popular, which yeah. we're nerds. So yeah. we have like five friends. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will talk about a book then. I will talk about Ra Ra Rasputin. Um, I fucking love this book, and I've been waiting for this since they announced it, because it's uh, uh, Chris Robertson and Christopher Mitten, who did Rise of the Black Flame, which I thought was really good on my second time reading it, because I actually understood it then. Um, and also, uh, they did that one, that uh, basic, what I call the Witchfinder Christmas special. So, <laughs> um, it's the Great Blizzard or something like that. Um, and... I'm pretty certain that both of them are obsessed with Witchfinder because, once again, they, like, cut away from the plot and they're just like, by the way, let's explain the plot of Witchfinder for five minutes. You like this book? We like it, too. Um, but this is kind of cool because it's, like, the youngest we've seen Professor Broom back when he's still fucking British. And he's fucking uh, just working in, like, an, a little office, like, deciphering uh, World War II codes. And he keeps seeing the word ghost. And everybody there is like, it's gibberish. And he's like, but I like ghosts! And they're like, you're weird. Go do this on your own. And then he goes, there's some weird shit. And he goes and sees his like uncle who's like, by the way, me and my buddy Edward Gray, we knew each other once. He didn't like the Heliopic Brotherhood of Ra, but I think they're pretty cool, actually. And that's the end of that. And then there's a zombie, and that's the end of it. But the artwork is super nice, because Christopher Mitten's really cool at doing artwork and shit. And Chris Robertson's a really fucking good writer. Like, kind of one of my favorites, actually, now, I think, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I'd I have to rank my art at my favorites. I like most things. It's really good. I like it. Ten, ten, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten, I guess. I don't know. I got both variants. I got the Mignola variant. It's important to me. Oh, oh, shit. This guy created the Marvel Mangaverse line. Oh, really? Yeah. I haven't read any of those, but... Um, it's interesting. Uh, it's interesting. And um, there's a lot of boobs in it. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's a manga. <laughs> Punisher's a woman in it. Is he? She. She. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of having a gun, she's just like... She dresses up as like the... Now I'm just showing my ignorance. Uh, the Japanese... Uh, like tea ceremony people with the white face and the dots and the thing. What do you mean? Like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know, I know what and you're talking about. And she's like, oh, and then they're like, we're bad guys. And then she's like, okay. And then she stabs him with a samurai sword. That's fucking <laughs> weird as shit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, I love, uh, I love manga Spider Man's uh, costume. Oh yeah. Um, then Jenny Finn, which is an old book that Magnola wrote, uh, not drew, but he wrote it. It's like from the 90s, and they did, uh, Dave Stewart, my favorite colorist, is recoloring the whole thing. Um, and the art's interesting. Uh, this book's really fucked up. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, there's a lot of prostitutes getting murdered. There's a lot of, uh, seemingly nudity in this there, book. There is a lot of nudity in this book. Mostly breasts. I think it's only breasts, actually. Yeah, um, there was a vagina on page two. Was there a vagina? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> uh, thank you. Don't show the audience that because we can't show that. <laughs> right there. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's that's a vagina. Well, that's like 
she's like, covered up a bit. Yeah, but. she's doing... That's basically the female equivalent of the tuck. So she just doesn't have to use her hand. So you, you can't see it, but you can see the hair. And there's some boobs. Um, there's there's, a, there was a lot of boob. Yeah, there's fish people getting... Uh, murdering people. I mean, you know what happens sometimes. But it was really good. I really liked it. Uh, the characters are pretty endearing. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I'm picking it up. Dave Stewart's awesome at coloring. Like, I like his colors. They're all just, like, kind of de- unvibrant, but at the same time vibrant. Because he's good at that shit. Um, so, yeah, pick it up, I guess. Fucking, I like how the guy at our store just picked up the I will buy literally anything with Mike Mignola's name on it. Yeah. So now, like, he just has been, has been buying, like, really obscure Mignola shit and just putting it in my pull list. Like, nobody, he only buys, like, one issue. Um... Like, from the whole store and just puts it in there. So that's pretty cool. I like it. Cool. What, um, and then Batman Who Laughs. Let's do that. Uh, this book was amazing. Yeah. It was really fucking good. And he has Jasons from all different universes. Mm-hmm. So that's... It's a, whole, it's a whole thing. This book's really good. Uh, yeah, so basically the premise of it is that... Batman accident. Well, is it an accident that he kills the Joker? Like, he said later that, like, the Joker... Oh, no, he does actually kill the Joker, like, in a headlock. And the Joker's Joker talks and gets into his bloodstream. And then he's like, no, I will not go on a murderous rampage. That that would be super cliche. We wouldn't do that. And then everybody goes up to him. He's like, no, I have Joker talks and I'm going to turn to the Joker. And they're like, we got to help you. How can we help you? And he's like... Well, no, you can't because I am the Joker, actually, and shoots them all. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Now he has a green cape and shit, and it's all, it's all, it's all spooky, scary skeletons. Yeah, and he literally murders the entire Justice League, which is a very Batman thing. To do. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. Uh, it was really cool. What exactly... So he handed the kryptonite to Superman, Superman. so that... Cause Superman to turn insane and kill his family? Yeah. All right. I they, they made up. They made up another kryptonite because you could just make up kryptonite if you feel you like can. it. It's black kryptonite, and it made him evil. That's weird. <laughs> or it was him and John turned evil and like murdered Lois Lane. I think. Yeah. This, which is I strange. I mean, there's also pink kryptonite, but that was only a joke. Did they just turn into girls? Gay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want that Superman and. Uh, it was an alter one. It was an alternate universe, and two. I think they said even explicitly it was like twenty four hours. Oh, I mean, uh, I don't think it works. I think Superman would be like, okay, well, uh, it was a Supergirl background gag, literally. Oh, um, <laughs> and then it was literally uh, like Clark Lake said, "Jimmy, you look really good today." <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Man, let's see if I can find it real quick. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that was good. This week was pretty good. I'm um, excited for more Ra Ra Rasputin. Because I like them. And they're good and shit. Um, and yeah, I know it's the fact that Chris Robertson is like fucking obsessed with Witchfinder. I'm assuming Christopher Mitten also really likes him because it just. What the fuck? On. <laughs> Did I ever tell you how smashing you look at bow ties? <laughs> That's really I love funny. comic books sometimes. That's really awesome. <laughs> cool. I guess that's it then. Cool. We're going to do stuff, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I want to play some L.A. Noir. We might watch a documentary about comic books. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Oh, we didn't do the fucking... Oh, shit. Yeah, predictions. Predictions. <laughs> oh, dicks. Oh, dicks. Dicks, 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 dicks. Let's do them quick. I, I don't know how much space we have left on this. Estimate. I want to resend you the little list. I have it. I mm. sent it again. Okay, thanks. Uh, per, per, uh, predictions. Um, Enzo Amor versus Kalisto Cruiserweight Championship. Oh, cruiser? Who can cruise the best? <laughs> Um, Enzo Amor or Callisto? Uh, Callisto sounds like the most, that sounds like something that an Italian sports car would be named, the Callisto. I'm going to go with that. 
Okay, I'm going to go with Enzo Amore, and I'm going to provide myself a bonus point. I'm going to say Enzo is going to retain due to Drew Gulak interference. I guess I can't provide myself with the bonus point No, at I all. can provide myself bonus points, but if I get it wrong, I fucked up. Did I get the bonus point? Yes. Cool. <laughs> sure, whatever. Yeah, because I can't say, if, if you fuck up, then I can't get a bonus point. <laughs> uh, the Shield versus the New Day. Uh, shield. Fuck. It's the New Day, clearly. <laughs> Yeah, it's a new day, da, da, and you're a gay. <laughs> All right, Ms. Bar- Ms. Baron Corbin. The Miz versus Baron Corbin. Um, I think the Miz the because Miz. the Miz was a very popular movie. Uh, it had some kind of weird singing in it, but like I feel like it has enough crowd popularity that's probably gonna win. Um, Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte. Charlotte's web, bitch. Charlotte. Uh, the bar. bar versus the Usos. The bar. The bar has the best name I've ever heard in my life. All right, and I think the Usos. The bar? Yeah. That's retarded, and I love they it. They raised the bar. They are the bar. I love it. Uh, Team SmackDown versus Team Raw. Women's Survivor Series match. Raw. Raw. I guess. I don't know. That was... You can't keep fucking picking the same shit as me. Team SmackDown versus Team Raw. Men's Survivor Series match. SmackDown. Uh, Raw, I guess. <laughs> Brock Lesnar Styles. Uh, Brock Lesnar, bitch! Styles! Oh! I didn't pick that because it's the opposite way I knew he would pick. Oh! Bye! Night, everyone. <laughs> I see ya. Wait! Acknowledge this is a belt. It's a title. Shit, you're right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>